All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is our fourth video of the coronavirus little vacation, I'll call it for all of you. And today we're going to be doing measurement, telling lengths. Uh, we're going to use terms of shorter than, longer than, taller. We're going to use short and tall. So, <laughs> basically, there's two words I want you to know, and short... S H O R T and tall T A L L. So keep those two words in mind, and I'm going to draw two lines. One of them is going to look like this. They're not going to be perfectly straight. I'm not the best artist out there. And then the other one's going to look like this. Oopsies. Right there. So when we compare two lengths we want to know which one is the short one and which one is the tall one now if you use your finger or your fingers and you kind of see how they are which one is the bigger one number one which will be this one or number two Exactly, number one, because if you use your fingers, this one is a bigger space. Like this is much bigger than this little eeny teeny bitty line. So which one would get the tall and which one would get the short? Exactly, number one would be tall. Number two would be short. So now, going back to our first lesson on the greater than and less than and equal to, if I would say this line is something to this line, we assess that this one's the taller one. This one right here is the taller one. So what would I say? I would say that this one is greater than. But this is not comparing numbers. This is comparing lengths. So in lengths, if we would word it, we would not use greater than. We would use taller than. And I'm going to erase this. Keep this note. Pause the video. Now. Okay. But if I did it reverse, if I did reverse and I did this short one and I did this taller one, this one is less than that length. So I would say this one is shorter than. So just remember those terms as you go on. And uh, just so you know, Instead of saying great or less, we are diverting or we're now saying tall and short. So if you want to go back to the first video and if you haven't watched it, please watch it because it would help you for this one. Uh, instead of using greater and less than, we would just use taller and shorter. So it would be helpful for you to watch that video, understand that topic, and it would be an easier transition for you into this topic. Okay, so if some of you had a bit of trouble on the last one, and you didn't actually know how to like, eh, this one looked like that, that one looked like that, well, there's another method that I would like to show you to count it. You can use, let's say, squares. So if we draw squares of the same length with this giraffe, it that, they're not going to be that equal to each other because, as I've said before, I'm no uh, artist here. But I'm close to one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But we're just going to draw squares. And this is what you can do for any comparison if you want to know about two stuff. We're just going to draw squares. 
to figure out the length and the tallness of the giraffe. Whoopsies, these squares are not even. Okay. Now we'll just fit in one more. I sent you guys a little game. The first link to the game. I want you to do those in order because of the difficulty and it would help you understand it as well. But the first link actually uh, shows you like equal amounts of squares and, it'll, and it's easier to count with the squares than that link because it's, well, it's online and it's with a computer so everything is uh, equal. But I'm no artist, so just try to bear with me here. Okay, so count the squares for each of the giraffes. Giraffe number one and giraffe number two. Now, okay, this giraffe has one, two, three, four, five, six squares. That's how tall it is. It's six squares tall. This one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares tall. So, if we were to compare numbers, and this is why I said you should uh, look at the greater than, less than, or equal to video so you can uh, understand this kind of topic. It would help, it would be an easier transition. But if we were comparing the numbers, six is what? Exactly. Six is less than nine. So which one's the tall giraffe? And which one, actually no. Don't answer that. What would we say now? Is the length of six shorter than or taller than nine? Exactly. Since we said six is less than nine with this symbol, less is the same thing as saying short. So six is shorter than nine. So we're saying that giraffe number one is shorter than giraffe number two. Awesome. So which one's the tall one and which one's the short one? Perfect. Number one is the short one. And number two is the tall one. And if you just say shorter than or taller than, then you'll be able to realize that that one's taller and that one's shorter. So if I switch the giraffes and I had nine and six, and I said nine is greater than six saying that it's taller than, well then I would automatically know that nine is tall and six is short since nine is bigger than six. So it's just quicker thinking for you guys to have better understanding of it. But uh, let's get a little more co uh, complex, shall we? All right, we have a monkey, a goat, and a lion. A monkey, goat, lion. So I'm going to need you to use their names because I'm actually going to change them around. They're not going to stay in place. Because I want you to order these from shortest... To longest. No, I'm going to say tallest. Tallest and long are interchangeable words, meaning that they can st they're can they used and they have the same meaning. So if I say something small or something short, that's what I'm meaning. If I say long, it also means tall. So I want you to take some time. Use your fingers if you want to. Or you can use the square method, either method. And when I say fingers, I'm going to say, for example, I'm going to use my fingers. And my finger is this length, per se. And I'm going to drag that. Oh, whoopsies. And if I drag that, I see that it's this, where the goat is. And then, then I can determine, is that bigger than the goat or sh shorter than the goat? Taller than the goat or shorter? And then I can see which one is taller and which one is shorter. So, 
figure it out. Take some time. I'm going to pause my video and I want you to pause it on your end. I'm going to change them to the correct order from shortest to tallest and I want you to do so as well. Write it on your paper, goat, lion, and monkey for shortest to tallest. All right. Try. I'm going to reveal the answer in three, two, one. All right. This is the answer. Goat is the shortest. Lion is in between them. And the monkey is the tallest. If you got that right, kudos to you. Congratulations. If you didn't, it's okay. It's not, no one's supposed to get it on their first try. It takes a lot, a long time of practice in order to get this right. So if you got it wrong, don't be frustrated. It's okay. It happens to everybody. It happened to me as well. So. So I actually want to do something because the last link that I provided you for the games, that game from Khan Academy is actually really difficult. And I would say that actually maybe a third grade level would be able to attempt it. But if you guys are able to understand it, that would actually be amazing. And it would make you seem cool to all your friends when you go back to school that you're smarter than them. How good would that feel? So I just want to provide this little extra to get you guys. Why not go in? You have this, you have this time, so why not take advantage of it? So basically, I'm going to give you a little concept, and you can try it on the game. And if you have any questions, then just contact me in my email, which I have in the description on the video. But uh, if I say that I'm going to compare these, the goat. Whoopsie, I am not drawing. The goat and the lion. So we knew that the goat is shorter shorter than the lion, correct? And the same thing for the goat and the monkey, uh, for the lion and the monkey, my bad. The lion is shorter than the monkey. So since the goat is shorter than the lion and the lion is shorter than the monkey, is the goat shorter than, taller than the monkey? The goat is shorter than the monkey. So you had the picture here, but I'm going to provide you with an example that doesn't have any pictures and you're going to have to visualize it. And if you want, you can draw it on a piece of paper. Okay. So if I, I'm going to use people, for instance, I'm going to use Jack. Audrey. And I'll say Dante. So Jack, Audrey, and Dante. So if I give you these couple of, I'm going to give you two sentences and you're going to have to determine something. So if I say Jack, which I'm going to say J is taller than Audrey, which will be A, and Audrey is taller than Dante, which will be a D, is Jack taller than or shorter than Dante? Now I want you to think about this. Try to visualize it. Try to visualize the people and the link. Picture it in your mind. Have a person who's Jack. Make them be taller than Audrey. And then make Audrey taller than Dante. And then try to put Jack next to Dante. And if you did, 
you will see that Jack is taller than Dante. Now I'm going to draw on the bottom and I'm going to represent it with lines. So this is J, this is A, this is D. So if J, Jack is taller than Audrey. So if I say this is Jack, he has to be taller than Audrey. So I mean Audrey has to be shorter than Jack. Just like that. But Audrey also has to be taller than Dante. It's like that. So now I'd realize that Jack is taller than Dante. So you can either picture it in your head, or you can draw it out with lines, which you could do in the game, and it would help you a lot. And sometimes you'll get the hang of it, and you won't even need to think at all. And you'll just get the answer correctly. So there are times when you have to compare um, descriptions on people like, oh, this person has shorter hair, this person has very short hair, this person has long hair, tall hair. Uh, but right now we're going to compare, if you can read, it says which has shorter ears. So. The dog's ear is this big. The rabbit's ear is that big. So which one do you think is bigger? Use your hand as well. Use the squares. Pause the video. And you'll get that the dog has shorter ears. So this was just a little example on how to compare physical characteristics, which you'll see in the two work in one of the worksheets, maybe two of them. Actually, just one of the worksheets where you compare tail size, eye size, leg size of uh, animals and descriptions, and you'll just and that's something people do every single day. So this is why this is a very important topic to know. And I hope you all are staying safe and staying at home. Maybe watching a little bit of the news to stay uh, informed. Uh, be with your family in this time. Don't eat too much food. We don't need anybody having the uh, gaining uh, like 200 pounds when they come out of quarantine. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is the fourth video. This is I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So I don't see uh, too many changes from now on with the way I do this. So, and if you have any questions, you can email me at 14nadov.cohen at gmail.com. And this will be provided in the description page as in the description as well. But I just wanted to write it here as well. Wouldn't hurt. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'd be more than happy to help you. But I hope you guys uh, stay safe. Keep learning. And uh, hopefully this all ends soon. And uh, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.